Hi everyone, welcome to the Cozy Rock MongoDB demonstration video series. Today, I'm going to start by showing you how to quickly set up a connection to MongoDB using Cozy Rock's MongoDB connection. Let's get started. Okay, I've already got a solution set up for demonstration videos, so the first thing we want to do is add a new project. So under uh, the file menu in Visual Studio, let's choose New Project. And under Business Intelligence and Integration Services, let's choose Integration Services Project. And let's give that project the name MongoDB. And let's add to the current solution. All right, and we already have a package here. Let's rename that. Call it MongoDB Connection. And so now we're ready to set up the connection under Connection Managers window. Right click, choose New Connection. And for type, let's drop down to MongoDB and choose Add button. All right, and now we're at the editor for the MongoDB Connection Manager. All right, and so we're going to need to fill in the host database, username, password, and the authentication database here. So let's switch over. I'll show you on the MongoDB website. We're going to be using the database sample training, and the collection is stories. And then we have a cluster set up with a primary host and two secondary hosts. So I'm going to first set it up just using the primary host, and then I'll set it up just using the cluster. All right, um, so let's go back over to Visual Studio. And for our host, I'm going to enter the primary host. And for the database, it will be sample training. For the username, it's Cozy Rock. It's uh, going to use basic mode. And I'll enter the password. And I know that my authentication database is called admin. I'm not sure exactly where to find that inside of MongoDB. Uh, so consult your uh, MongoDB administrator. Uh, I did find possible reference to it in here um, where the role is set up on admin. Um, quite sure if that's uh, the best place to find it, but um, anyway, let's move on. So on the SSL tab, we want to choose use SSL. And in uh, when we're just using the host, we don't have to put anything in advanced here. Test connection succeeds. And so now I'm going to go ahead and show you setting it up with the cluster. So for host, we'll enter all three of the hosts separated by commas. And when we hit the test connection now, it'll give us a message that'll tell us that. If you're going to use a replica set, it requires specifying a replica set in the advanced tab. All right, and so here the, the name of our replica set is all right, our repl replica set is called cluster shared zero. And uh, I've also included this UUID uh, rep representation equals standard. Uh, not quite sure the uh, what that's for, but uh, if you don't put it in there, then you'll 
go try to use the source and you'll end up with an error message that looks like this. And then you'll have to re-record your whole connection demonstration over again. All right, so let's test that connection and it succeeds. We'll go ahead and close that out. And now we have a connection that is ready to use for the MongoDB source and the MongoDB destination. All right, thanks for watching. If you have questions, don't hesitate to contact us by submitting a ticket on our help center at desk.cozyrock.com. You can join our social media at the link shown here. For more videos and content, subscribe to our channel.